एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल स्टडी आयुर्वेदा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दि दद्रकुष्टा दैट इज फंगल इन्फेक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन दद्रकुष्टा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन त्वक विकारा वे पीपल विथ ऑल एज ग्रुप्स गेट्स एफेक्टेड इट इज प्रोमिनेंटली अ कफ पित्ताच व्याधि इट इज हैविंग द प्रोडोमिनेंस ऑफ कफ एंड पित्ता दोषा सो चरक का कंसिडर्ड इट अंडर क्षुद्रकुष्टा and shushruta considered it under mahakushta there is a difference of opinion regarding the charaka and the shushruta this is the aibgt point of view causes what are the causes what are the nidhanas for the manifestation of this tadrakushta it is important acharyas has not explained any separate nidhana for this tadrakushta but in generally they have explained about the kushta nidhanas okay you can check in the link below about the general nidhana so, for dadrakushta can spread from person to person by malaja krimi with the help of malaja krimi or by swaya that that is contact with the infected person and contact with their clothes contact with their clothes or contact with any of the uh, instruments which they are using or any of the equipments they are using on their daily routine so by their contact the infection spreads from one to other person so due to sharing of towels bed sheets soap handkerchief etc of the infected person causes the spreading of microorganism from one person to the another person so pathogenesis or the sampratti of this sadrakushta is mainly by sharing bed and clothes of the infected person that it is highly contagious in nature for because of that reason it spreads from person to person the sankramana of the krimi from purusha to the purusha by means of mala that is it spreads from the fecal matter also the krimi which has entered into the body so it is entered into twak through sveda so it has been entered into the body with the help of sweat glands which is present and it vitiates the tridoshas twak and rakta as well as lasika so what are the symptoms of this dadrakushta sa kandu raga pidakam dadru mandalam mudgatam so it is associated with the kandu that is eating sensation raga here is the discoloration reddish discoloration it might be a reddish discoloration or coppery discoloration is present along with the scaly patches okay pidaka pidaka here is that the area which is affected there is a slight elevation is seen in that area mandala mandala here is the these are the circular patches they are in the form of circular patches all over the affected part of the body next according to shushruta shushruta in nidanasthana 5th chapter and 8th shloka has explained that atashi pushpa varnani tamrani va visarpani pedaka vanti cha dadrukushtani so what uh, what does he says that the color of this dadrukushta is atashi pushpa varna so it resembles that of the atashi pushpa it resembles same as that of the atashi pushpa and tamra varna that is copper is coppery reddish discoloration is seen visarpa it is having capacity to spread like that of the visarpa and pidaka so it has a slight elevations and also it is dry and also have the scaly patches at the affected area so now let us have a look at the types of tinea infections one by one mainly this sadrukushta is considered in the broader heading that broader heading that tinea infections so mainly they are tinea corporis tinea capris tinea anguillum and tinea pedis corporis so in this tinea corporis the itching occurs on the infected area the edge of the rash appears elevated and is scaly to touch so here we have to remember that itching the main symptom in case of dadrakushta which is explained by acharya charaka is mainly the kandu so it is uh, produces itching in the infected area the edge of the rash appears elevated and scaly to touch so it appears to be elevated so pidaka we have another symptom according to charaka is that pidaka so it appears to be elevated and scaly to touch sometimes the skin surrounding the rash may be dry and flaky okay the skin which surrounds to this a uh, rash may be dry and flaky almost invariably there will be hair loss in that area so infection easily available those are mainly nimba patola dhatura haridra daru haridra okay karanja tulsi 
So first of all, in this case, the Aragvada Patra Kalka is mixed with the Kanji and applied over the circular area. So it should be helpful for treating it. Otherwise, uh, the person can also use the Jatyadi Taila or Nimba Taila for external application or Tuvaraka Taila can also be used. Tinea Capitis Tinea Capitis is the infection of the scalp where it produces a relatively non-inflammatory infection with mild scale and hair loss that diffuse or localized that is diffused or localized it may appear the patchy hair loss over some areas of the scalp or it may appear as a broad hair loss so in case of tinea capitis we are mainly advising the patient to use the durdura patra aditaila for external applications because there will be scalp itching as well as scalp infection to prevent that durdura patra aditaila is advised so in case of patchy hair loss so the patient is advised with the bhallataka taila so it should not be done without the prescription or without, without the under guidance of the physician tinea angium so this will mostly affects the nails and opacified and thickened nails it makes the nails mainly opacified and thickened subungual debris and distal lateral variant is most common proximal subungual onchomycosis may be the marker for the yeah, child advising the patient to take the khadiradi kashaya daily and also mahamanjishtadi kashaya is advised and externally for application there will be a Gandhakadya Malahara can be advised for external application. Jatya Di Taila is very helpful and it will be very beneficial. And the person has to maintain the hygiene. It is very important. T necrosis. Here mainly the involvement of groyon region and also scaling. Erythematous eruptions sparing the scrotum is seen. In case of the tinea crosses, it mainly involves the internal part that is groyan region. So, we are advising the patient to use the Mahamanjistadi Taila. So, in case of tinea crosses, we are advising the patient to use the Tulsi with the turmeric powder. Tulsi juice is extracted fresh. Tulsi juice is extracted and it will be mixed with the neem oil or with the turmeric powder and it should be made in the form of paste and applied at the affected area two to three times in a day to prevent the itching as well as for easy and asking the patient to use the nala pamaradi taila at the affected site tinea pedis so tinea pedis is the most common infection of the foot variable erythema edema scaling and pruritus and occasionally vesiculations are seen in case of tinea pedis, the patient is advised with the jatyadi malahara or jatyadi taila can be applied over that area or jasadamrut malahara is also advised. So in case as a home remedy if you want to do you have to mix the turmeric powder with the ghee and it should be applied at the affected area and maintain the proper hygiene and avoid contact of the surface more with the water that is the thing.